this to you and do that to you. I don't really like hearing about what people, you know, um, said, do or did, especially when you were there. You know, when you guys part company and you're telling me that sounds crazy to me yeah. because it was OK when you were there. Right. Right. But and now I, that you're not, you're throwing people under the bus. I don't want to hear that mess. Yeah. I look at it the same way. I'll wait till it really happens to me. I, I'm, I don't want to hear all that. Not at all. But I think I still visit. So let's talk about everyone. your topic. Huh. Uh, that you're white and racist. You do. <laughs> yeah, so I, uh, I don't even sound like I'm white, but I get, I get, I get where I might people might think that I'm, you know, um, but that's not my fault. <laughs> right, it's not your fault. You know, man. I, I, I'm not racist either. I'm only racist when I'm in an argument. <laughs> right, right. You know, I'm just saying racist stuff yeah. in an argument, but that's because I'm in an argument. I'm trying to win. I'm trying to make you feel bad. I'm trying to hurt you. The way yeah. I, you know, I just, just know that, that you're insecure about stuff. You know. Oh my God, you will tear someone up. Oh my God, but you know, I feel bad for people sometimes because they're you not think? from. They're not from the hate room. So certain words that we use to them, it's like the worst thing you could say ever. <laughs> yeah, <so. laughs> That's what I was trying to tell you. We came from the hate room. You know, yeah. not just that, the same things that I say, stop. Figure out why come y'all ain't calling him racist? What? Right. But he, you know, with you us going <laughs> But you know what? You and the nigger bitch. <laughs> but that's something that we use all the time in the hate room, nigger bitch. If you're a that, nigger bitch, I'll call you a nigger bitch. That but, and I, I come from the streets. That's the way I would talk to a lot of the yeah. women that work for me and the women that I worked with. That's exactly the way I would talk to them. When they would start talking to me like I was nothing, I would ha I'd be like, well, bitch, you a junkie. You fucking doping, bitch. You nigga, bitch. Whatever kind of insecurity or imperfection that they had, I would throw it at them. But you know Reminds me of Dana every time you do that because you know how Dana would always say, "A nigger." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody that came out the hate room talked like that, so I'm like, "Where the hell have y'all been, Sector?" Yeah, y'all need to go over there and listen to some of them old videos of the way we used to get down over there. <laughs> we used to have a lot of fun. Yes, we did, and that <laughs> and that was the fun of it. We could say anything to each other. Yep. You just had to come back, yep. but get in your feelings and then want people to hate the other person. Girl, the people in this sector, this particular sector that we're in, they really, they really, really, really get in their feelings. Yeah, they I, really do. I mean, they, they start doing crazy stuff to each other. I'm like, good Lord, you guys get that mad? Yes, it's gone. It, it, it goes way too far where with us where we're from you know we just have fun we start creating memes and just torture each other that way but we never get personal anita you know when i do my rants i um i laugh i'll be laughing because some of the stuff that i'll be saying i'll be laughing at myself right, right. Like, oh my god, <laughs> it's so funny, right? And it's not because I'm crazy, it's just that this shit is funny, you know. And if I could laugh at myself and laugh at what I'm saying, of course, I'm not going to be mad at you, you know. I'm not, I'm not even going to bed mad, I'm going to bed happy and laughing at what I just said because a lot of times I will listen to my rants over and over again and laugh, 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 laugh. It's just so funny, <laughs> it's like the ones that I just made, you know. Ooh. They're rough. I know, I know, especially the ones about the um, the anal sex. 
but I was oh. being serious. Oh, you know, I was being serious. I, I got to give people I direction. Makes it, I think that's what makes it so rough <laughs> is that you're dead ass. And it's like, let me take notes. But who the fuck does she think she is that she can talk to me like this? <laughs> yeah, because I can. And here's the thing. They talk to me like they talk to me thinking that I'm going to talk to them like that back. And I'm like, no, I'm a grown woman. I'm my mother's daughter. I used to be a damn street hoe. How are you? How do you think I'm, I'm going to talk to you pleasantly? It's just no way in the world. No. <laughs> And they should know by now. Anyway. They, don't. they don't. You know, they really, really don't. Do you know that that's how he used to talk to me? No. Yes. That's how he used to talk to me. And I was just shocked. But I knew something was wrong with him. And I said, okay, he doesn't know what he's saying. He doesn't. Yeah, But he became too good at it. And I would never say anything. And then people were telling me how he would call them. And... um cry crying and tell them that that i was abusing him and i was doing this and i was doing that and i was like well how is this possible this this guy is six five this guy is you know he's he's a few years younger than me but he's a grown man with a big voice how do you possibly think i'm abusing him i'm taking up for myself it's just that when he called me a name i called him a better one and he didn't like it right right but, you know, I almost feel like he really, he's really convinced himself that that's the truth. <laughs> About what? That you abused him. Well, you know what? I'm going to be fair. I'm going to be fair. Um, it started off with him doing it to me. And then once I felt like he was a bully, I was like, you know what? Fuck that. You know what? I'm gonna destroy you, nigga. <laughs> I am, I am, I am, and to it burn fuck out of me. And ain't a goddamn thing you can do about it. So it became it became like a job to me, you know, because I knew that mm. that whatever I did or said, because I knew his conditions, you know, I knew his conditions, I knew what he suffered from. Because I I watch him. He told me, he shared things with me, you know, and I knew I just knew everything about him to where I knew I knew that he suffered from, you know, obsessive love. He suffered from obsessive, this obsessive that he just, you know, and I knew that he was a stalker and he couldn't let things go. And I knew that, you know, I watched all his periscope videos and I saw he would build armies against the women he used to mess with you know and some would go for it and some wouldn't the same way he built one to try to take me out but ain't nobody taking me out you know this is this is and for them to fall for this i'm like you guys are like do you realize this man is not well this man he, he's going to be running running up to people and talking to people every day wherever he is about me can you help me? Can you help me, please? Can you help me take this woman out? You know, instead of literally going to a therapist and a counselor telling them, I can't seem to get this woman out of my mind. Help me. I'm obsessing over her. Help me, please help me. Well, if he subscribes to you, there's no way. <laughs> That's because I was nice to him. 